The Women Who Carried Me, a talk by Tumi Marake. A force to be reckoned with. Mom, wife, author, columnist, presenter, producer, there is no end to this powerhouse. Since beginning her comedy career in smoky clubs back in 2006, and with numerous achievements, nominations and awards under her belt, Tumi Marake continues to be a formidable force in the entertainment industry. In 2022, her journey saw her establishing a name for herself in New York and Atlanta, Georgia. Wait, I'm timing myself. Happy International Women's Day, ladies. So today, I want to celebrate the women who carried me, and I want to jump right into it. I'm going to begin with the woman who gave birth to me. I put her in labor on her birthday, and just for control, I arrived the following morning for my own birthday. I was not ready to share. And she said to me, Deboho, God rest your soul, the best thing my mother ever said to me was, you must have the confidence of a cockroach. We do, Melo, you must have the confidence of a cockroach. I'm so glad she picked a cockroach. It is not a pretty thing, but it is such a resilient thing. You know what a cockroach does when you find it in your house? It looks like it belongs. You stand there like, yeah, when? It looks at you like, yes, when? It's a standoff between you and the roach. You spray a doom. It says, oh, perfume, thank you. Try the other side. They will survive at every cost. You must crush it. You must rub it of water for it to die. You cannot just kill it. And I said, my mother, I will walk with the confidence of a cockroach. That was the first person to carry me, not just into life, but into my career unknowingly. She was a nurse. She was the first woman in her village to drive a car. And my goodness, eh, she was Schumacher. She was Schumacher. My mother would go through a red light and say, but to me, it wasn't very red. <laughs> that was my mother. And along the way, I lost my mother and I was carried by every other woman. And those are the women I want to celebrate today. I don't want to do comedy today. I'm not here to be funny. I am here doing the funny because of the women who carried me. See, they said there's nothing wrong with my voice. There's nothing wrong with my loudness. The problem is the people around it. Like that cockroach. You are upset because I dare to occupy space confidently and own it because I know why I'm there. You don't know if the roach wants water. You don't know if it wants a bite. I found one coming out of a PlayStation. I'm like, okay, roachy. Go on with your bad self, you educated roach. So I moved on with that confidence of a cockroach. But you know what? I have three children. They needed to be raised. Tumi Marake, award-winning comedian all over the world. She's been to Australia, New York, you name it. She's been there, Paris. How have I done it? Cheapo, God rest her, rest her beautiful soul, raised my three children. We don't hire nannies. We hire women to help us raise our children. That is who we hire, and I want to elevate those people today. We have events like this to celebrate captains of industry, but we are captains of industry because of those women who we leave behind to carry us. I move with confidence, not worried about what's happening with my children, because there is a soul who has said, I will love your children like I've loved my own. And even when she drew her last breath, we were there. We were there because that is not an employee. It's not just a family member. It is someone sent to you. Whether you believe in ancestors, angels, the universe, they have been sent to you so you can be what you need to be. I want to also speak to the women in this room whose companies I have performed in. You have the opportunity to have men making an entire room laugh and they say, but do you know to me, Murake? There are so many people who said, but they say women are not funny. Yeah, but do you know to me, Murake? And I want to celebrate those women and say thank you. Thank you for gossiping about me the good way in your boardrooms. Thank you. And you should also thank those women who have spoken about you behind your backs, about how amazing you are as a leader. They deserve your respect and your thank you. I want to thank every woman I've met who says to me, my husband loves you so much, so much. And they come to my shows and my, my entire arena is full because of these men who have been brought by their wives because they love me. And I must explain to her, well, I'm unavailable. It's sweet, but uh, God bless you. Enjoy him by yourself. You know, 
I want to thank those women because they carried me here. You see, I'm celebrating these women and not telling you how I got here because how I got here is that I know the power of women. Comedy is a boys' club. I didn't have some line of female comedians to follow in South Africa. They didn't exist. There were only a few black faces who were male. Very few female faces. Much, much fewer black female faces. I had to find a way to make it in that industry. And do you know how I made it? Women who will not believe, not Tamba Madum, is the reason I knew I can stand up, be a woman, be in an industry that looks so male and own my voice. So I want to thank each and every one of you today who does not look past the lady who's selling vegetables and fruits, who doesn't look past that lady you live in the house to clean it so that after this summit, when you're looking great with your very expensive nails, your house looks like you're on your knees all day. I want us to celebrate those people because as much as we are book long and we have won our own trials and tribulations, man, there are those women who have still carried us on who have egged us on and go, you can do it. I want to thank every Ghanaian woman because I'm married to a Ghanaian man. I must always acknowledge my in-laws. <laughs> I remember the first time I was in Ghana, something I heard a lot when I was in Accra, even in Kumase. Oh, hey, oh, hey, you are beautiful. So I'm going to leave you with that. I have sat, I have listened, and I have watched. You are beautiful. African women, I salute you, I celebrate you. Thank you that we can take over the world so it can know Africa is not just the beginning, baby. It's where the world is going. Thank you.